Hi everybody. Now, in the recent 1.08 update, um, there were some changes to the player spawn point um, files on, on private servers, on PC, on console, on PlayStation, on Xbox, which could indicate that we might be moving towards a situation where you can move your character between private servers. It, this could be the setting up of a hive system. So, as you know, the way things work on Daisy is if you're on the public servers, you can go from public server to public server, and your character goes with you. You know, with all your stuff, with all the weapons and the, and the kit that you've and loot you've picked up going around the map. You change location to stop people um, loot farming. Say, you know, going to Tizzy, taking all the stuff on one server, going to another server, taking all the stuff. You know, so that's that's why it moves you to another place, and also you have a time delay, I think, as well, don't you? However. If you look at the, uh, um, what do they call it, the CFG player spawn points .xml file now, you've got the normal set of spawn points at the top, but they've also added this bit, spawn point settings for server hoppers, and then underneath that, there's spawn point settings for travellers. And so that leads to the question, why would they put that in? Because with private servers, um, you have a separate database for your character for each server um, so that's why when you go to another private server you know you start again as a fresh spawn but could the addition of these extra spawn points for travelers and server hoppers so these are people who are moving between servers in the files that are put onto private servers could this be that they're thinking of installing a hive system in daisy private custom servers um, so basically when we say a hive system it just means that the servers all access the same uh, character database sometimes even the same central loot economy database as well you know they look at that and that would enable you to change between um, between private servers however I mean personally I tend to think that this is probably a mistake that they've put these in um, I think this is uh, the XML from you know the public servers, um, and I don't think it should be there. But it'd be nice to think it would be. Wh whether it's something you actually want or not, I'm not sure. I think you'd have to have another setting in your private server that that could tick and say whether you would allow people to bring their loot over from another server. Because um, obviously people could get you could have your own private server which just you on it, and you whacked all the um, all the loot up or you've just got you know you spawn in next to a, a vehicle full of loot and then you could go to someone else someone's other server you know and be be an assassin with all the best weapons um, and that's why you can't go from private servers to public servers as well because again you would get looted up on your own private server you know with a, with a ghillie suit and a sniper rifle with silencers and all this sort of stuff then you would hop on over to a public server and uh and kill each other, kill everybody. Um, so that's quite funny. But who knows? Maybe, maybe it's coming. Um, the developers of Daisy Bohemian Interactive, you know, they've definitely shown the fact that they um, that they're into Daisy still, and they're developing it. I know 1.8's been a little bit rough, especially on console. Um, but may maybe they're doing something like this. But I guess we'll just have to see. I haven't seen any official responses or official information about this. But again, down in my heart of hearts, I tend to think that this is just a just a mistake, and we're just going to have. Um, you're going to have your character on your private server and that'll be it but let's see what happens anyway what do you think put your comments in the description in the uh, box down below and uh, if you've enjoyed the video hit like if you want to see more of the same press subscribe and i'll see you again soon